Okay, hello and welcome to Pen Funeral Vlog Day Two. Uh, can't think how many days there are. Um, yeah, if I shouldn't mention thing. Apparently, Monday for first day, we're gonna have a half hour for each day, and all end on July twenty eighth, which means get the thing I'm get the, get looking for to look at it more. Behind, of course, the emoji movie. <laughs> uh, okay, but anyway, no. Gonna have our block today with two of them in that book. Go, yeah, we're talking about both that book. One of y'all, like, I did, did my little bit. What I'm going to do with that, I'm gonna, I just watched the first one that book. Then we'll get down here, I'll pause with it, then watch that book, then go talk about it. Why instead of having doing it, why do that instead of doing it after having watched both? I think we're working a little better. Cause I don't kind of get up comparing them already before it fairly do go. And so I don't they act like which I'm talking about each one. Go here. Now I can only talk about the first one because I haven't watched the next second one minute one yet. So with that let us talk about uh, wait, uh, um <laughs> Alpha Bravo Unicorn written by Pi Man Ca I can't pronounce the names like, at all. I'm sorry. Okay. I can't pronounce it. That's why I have a cup so I can pronounce the name. Anyway, Alpha Bravo Unicorn. So let's get our first sequel episode of the end. And we are going back to Dragon World. Basically in, uh, what was the episode? I can't remember the name of it. But in that episode, they went to... It's more for Dragon, and they were at Wingfire Academy. Basically, Top Gun with Dragon. Back when it was, and it was awesome. <laughs> it was one of my favorites, for the conquest alone. So here we're going back, and this time they're being threatened by an army of unicorns. Yep. Australian unicorn to be exact. I love the show. <laughs> anyway, anyway, well, apparently unicorn got attacked before, and somehow Pen and Frank weren't called in. But basically, because of that attack, Blaine uh, started feeling unconfident, and now got back club, and they have to get him back, get a confident back, so we can fight for the unicorn. Okay, go. So first thing first to that look again, but can kind of downplay. He's there, but he's only a couple of scenes. In fact, it's kind of pointless. You give them, like, like, some, but tell the unicorn they have intel, but what they, what they give end up being useless to him. Go, Rip and Larry don't do shit in the couple of code. Again, that they had more an impact on the people, but that's too rough, they don't do a whole lot for the plot. It's like, but just for a town car, that's one I can kind of, I have queued up right here, so I can tell I probably might have more to do, but that is weird. Yeah, I kind of that one really good. Not because the first one, but it might be because no Kenny Loggin song in the one. <laughs> yeah, they had Kenny Loggin doing some song in that one, and I can't refer to the other Disney movie he did in 2015. <laughs> the thing I recently did a video for, I can't even get it because it got blocked, but it's not good to me if you want to see it. <laughs> Probably, uh... But, anyway, they do have a song, but it's so obviously not Kenny Loggin. It's a training montage song, because of course it is. Um, but, uh, wait, give me a second. I just got to get a quick something. Uh, I'm so glad I do that I can pause, um, so then I can just, like, pick up something that I don't just bother you. Anyway, so, we go, no, I think the other one is pretty fun. Um, it, I don't get quite human got the same way that first one does, only because that first one had quite a bit of emotion with it, you know, for saying it was, and, you know, this one, plus not a bunch of Rip and Larry, and, no Kenny Loggins song, so I got to not quite the weight to it, but still really enjoyable. I like the story of Blade kind of getting confident back, you know, and, you know, he's thinking, hey, well, I'm not my favorite, why even try, and, you know, and we get a bit of cautiously liking uh, Blade thing, which is downplay at the time, but it's there. <laughs> um, go, now I'm cool, and it's not the book original, like, like a few episodes or so, we're starting with the original, but the execution, go. I feel like I probably would like this one a lot more if they had more of a musical number. It looks like a kind of musical episode, that one. And so had an official musical episode, and I hope we go back to that role and do another one, but... Yeah. But I don't want too many musical episodes. Not musical. Musical episodes, but they're too many for the game. If they have four of them, and I feel like I got next guy for your first game. First game two, you can do it for any more, though. And you go to 11 episodes, it's a musical episode. Um, if you're wondering, we're gonna be 15... 14 half hour, but 14 14 are both made up of an hour long special thing. Yeah, so that'll definitely be awesome. Go, 
down to be like 12 hours out of a van that he could battle. Anyway, I like King much more because it's a relatively good book gather, but I do like the Australian, a Banak Australian unicorn. They're very, really cool. Um, and they even fit in a crocodile Dundee reference again, you know, with uh, the knife line, it's got the time with a shot because it's shooting them with the you know, horn. Um, you know, with a lot of LP reference, I could probably make it, but I won't. Um, <laughs> but still, pretty, yeah, they're definitely, both of the stuff that every couple of them trying to get playing, you know, back, and they train him, and he trains them, and some fun stuff with that. I can think of it, like, it's not as much to a story in the kind of, because it can keep going, so, I still caught it very good, because it is highly enjoyable, but not like, for like, for like, so, like, he's voiced by Sean Aston, so, like, cool, um, Oh yeah, I think that's about it for Alpha Bravo Unicorn. It is highly enjoyable. They could go to Kiko Up, it's not actually usual. Because of Kiko Up, because I believe it him in terms of being better. So, Kiko the Kali one was better than the first Kali one. The Kiko the Kupiara one was better than the first Kupiara one. It's all because we didn't can't take one world from back up here at the time. <laughs> um, never one. The other one was about on par. The other one. Blanking. I've never seen it. They give me kind of the Clown World Kiko was not good the original because the original one was my favorite episode and the one so you couldn't top that. But yeah, but they're all still fun. So they're like two that are better and two that were even hard. This one is lesser but still pretty good. So, oh yeah, it's a couple. It's not like the shake it up, but it's still pretty enjoyable because we do some good jokes in there. And Australian unicorn, you can't go wrong with her. Uh. There you go. Alright. Yeah, go so on to the park and I shall see you for the next episode as we are done here. I'll put timestamp and then what you just want to get done like I did in my little so I'll see you then. Okay, now for a game of cat and mouse written by Adam Henry. There, that came I can out. Go. We got up for this one. Okay, go. They go to a world where it is basically the future, and apparently humanity has gone bad enough to where they have to ground and be free as many people as they can and put them in the thousand year sleep and fly them to the Earth like planet. And then, and then as they've gone into the world boon as a computer, got to one of those people who have been frozen, and then they go find it, and look like a bad guy, and they have to. Um, Use the chip thing to help. I don't know what's going to come. But basically, what they have to do with Twint, rip like a cat, pen it, it come out, and Tom and Jerry in the bank. Yeah, that is the premise of the cup of code. And Tom and Jerry in faint. Something I'm sure the actual franchise will be doing at the rate we're going. Alright, really want to. And that is why I like to go in Tom and Jerry and think. I don't quite get what the chip will definitely do, but whatever, I don't think that matters. It's like you got a typical sort of sci fi kind of premise. It's like, it's like passion, but like creepy. <laughs> I haven't seen it. I can't even say anything about that. I'm sorry. Or maybe it's gray. I don't know. Um, but, um, but, but my favorite parts are the Tom and Jerry parts. Like, well, first of all, first thing. Gashi and push the guy in this one. Purpose the guy makes sense on the premiere episode and she won't use pretty well in the previous one. And here she she basically the butt monkey, but she does help. She does actually help game the day a bit. Go fine. But she better not be pushed guy in the next few. So yeah, my fair character so. Um so um Boon at the computer is pretty funny. Make a good joke there. But mostly the game of cat and mouse with Rippin and Pen Bow. Lots of ripping in this one. And it's really enjoyable. I will beat the flat stick that they do. Yeah. I mean, it's very, very Tom Jerry esque. And they can, and it can a lot of really funny, cartoony stuff. They don't quite explain why they're like a cat and a mouse on board and why they. They don't quite explain the skill up that well. I'll say that. The only problem with that is, like, they really wanted Tom Jerry and Bank is the thing. And it's very funny. The best part are the, the plastic part, um, you know, uh, all of them, I, I mean, do have to do with the faint element. 
funny because I you know, I thought I watched Shredder playing which I think it's a problem but Shredder part great not going to Shredder playing part but if I get on topic there um 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 but yeah that kind of so the thing you like Tondra and Fnatic you like the one Come the paint stuff kind of weird but I do really enjoy it Tondra and Fnatic are kind of pretty good I'm going to go it's really funny. It's a lot of very good, and they do a lot of the music they would use. So it really gives you the feeling of Tom and Jerry. Tune that can probably my favorite Tom and Jerry than Fat Boy Walk of the X from the um out. Uh, I need to watch that. I've been memeing it. Go. Sorry, I pause a lot. Still got one more thing. So okay, the air conditioner makes a lot of noise out there. So, but. Anyway, that kind of was the company I'm out to. Tom Jerry, Claptic, and Faye, and it's pretty funny. Uh, the only other thing to mention about they were going to be abrupt ending, like the show typically does, they haven't fit Clapped on me yet, but, uh, yeah, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. No. So, yeah, pretty good episode. It's big, it's very big, and it's pretty fun. But the linguistics of how it works don't make a lot of sense, but that's not really the real, real focus. Focus can go on. Tom and Jerry and Clapstick, and it's really good Clapstick, you know, for, for a show like this, you know, that I'm not going to figure out how much of you know, that, but it is really fun Clapstick, and it's very cartoony, and the flow out of the music, so, yeah, yeah. go yeah, <laughs> go if you're just playing that we want a movie, you want to watch Tom and Jerry, it's actually a pretty good outlet for it, so yeah, um, go go to our two episodes, um, I like the first one more, the second one I got, I laughed more, but I will admit it more on light of fire kind of good than it is on very good, like that first one was. But they're both pretty good. So I don't think we've. Uh, I don't know until we hit one that's just good in that kind of. They're going to really hit for the high kind of good, but it's just good. Um, maybe tomorrow I'll have I don't know. But anyway, this is a pretty fun setup. So we got a very original setup along with a kick up go that it's solid. So. Pretty enjoyable. Okay, I'll book up with time. Go. Tomorrow we have Wink of Destiny and Gankativity Training. But, um, both got pretty interesting, especially that first one. That could be the name of it, the dragon one of the guy, Wink of Destiny. <laughs> but, no. So, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow for that. Go. And this guy up I'm doing, I'll probably do it going forward. Hopefully. Have to, I get to jump right into it. It's not going to explain that kind of. Anyway, I shall see you tomorrow for that.